Hello, Salam and Namaste. Welcome back to yet another tech video with me, Asad Virani. In this video, we will see a few Android hidden secret features which you were not aware of. First one, Google Maps. You must have seen my previous video in which I have mentioned to you the good use of Google Maps. Now tell me, while driving, you would not want to use both your hands to zoom in or zoom out. Very simple feature by Google Maps is you double tap Google Map and you scroll your finger up or down to zoom out or zoom in. Feature number two, Google Lens. Google Lens is Google's AI analysis of pictures. Very simply, point your camera to a famous monument or even to some fruits or even to some foreign language and see how well Google helps you with it. Whether to recognize the monument or the fruit or even translate the text in your language on the go. Feature number three, again, Google Lens. Apart from translating and identifying monuments, Google also helps you to click pictures of business cards and directly save them as a contact. This feature also works with websites. If you see a contact information on a website, just use your camera, point Google Lens to it and click on it and see how seamlessly it helps you to save the information on your phone as a new contact. There are a host of more features with Google Lens. I'll let you play with them and if you find something interesting, post them in the comments below. Feature number four. Are you like me who gets bored to type on your smartphone screen? I know smartphones are much more bigger but still it's not as comfortable as typing on a laptop. So presenting Gboard, yes that's Google Keyboard. Google Keyboard lets you glide through the keyboard and glide is much more smarter now than before. Feature number five, single handed typing, long press the comma key and you will see two or three pop-ups. One of them is a keyboard pop-up. Tap on it and you can then move your keyboard to use with your left hand or with your right hand. And if you want, you can even float your keyboard on your screen. Feature number six, translate on the go. Use Gboard to type in your own native language and see how seamlessly and smartly Gboard translates it into English. Similarly, you can do the vice versa by typing in English and ask Gboard to translate it into another language. Feature number seven. Many of you have seen iPhone users have stickers which are personalized as per their face. Gboard also has this feature. Again, long tap on your comma. Look at the emojis icon tap on it. Now tap on the square emoji and if you don't have your personalized stickers set, Google will take you through a step by step process by clicking your photo and then suggesting the emojis which suit your face. You can even add some more hair to your emoji like I've done for myself. Feature number eight, if you are used to typing long phrases for example hello how are you use gboard to make a shortcut for that that's very simple just go to settings dictionary personal click on the plus icon type in your phrase hello how are you and replace it with a shortcut h h r u or whatever you want and the next time you type h h r u see how google converts it into hello how are you feature number nine dark mode dark mode is a very good feature which is good for your eyes as well as your battery you can enable dark mode in almost all the apps so that your phone looks theme wise dark but there are a few apps that still don't accept dark mode if you're using android 10 you can force dark mode on such apps Feature number 10, if you're feeling bored, just tell Google Assistant, tell me something funny. And I'm sure Google will give you lots of jokes and will tickle your funny bone. What not, you can even ask Google 
to schedule the joke for you every day at a particular time feature number 11 were you aware of this feature where you get a call and you want to put the phone on silent just put the phone face down and it will automatically put the phone on silent mode the same feature also works to snooze your alarm feature number 12 if you use google chrome on your android phone and you have many tabs open it's very simple to swipe between tabs just swipe the header of the tabs and you can go from left to right on any of your tabs without using too many button combinations feature number 13 you can double tap the multitasking key to switch to the last used app something similar to the alt tab combination in windows when you drag down the notification tab you will see five to six buttons which are regular in use and you want to see more you will again drag it down what if you want to drag it all down in one stroke just place two fingers on the top of the notification tab and drag it down that's all it takes so these were Google's secret Android features, which you might be knowing, might not be knowing, but I'm sure you will definitely use them now onwards. So if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so that you can be updated of all my videos as and when I update them. And don't forget to like the video and forward to your friends. Thank you.